All right, hey, this is Sid Owsley from the Three Ds of Success, Determination Determines Destination. And today I want to talk about, are you sabotaging yourself? Are you sabotaging yourself with the beliefs that you have? Do you have disempowering beliefs that keep circulating in your mind, that you keep acting out, that you keep believing in so much that it paralyzes you and stops you from making progress? It paralyzes you from taking that chance, from achieving that goal that you always wanted to achieve. Are you sabotaging yourself with your belief system? A lot of times our beliefs come from our immediate family, our overall culture, the overall society, and we internalize these beliefs and we just keep circulating them circulating in our head day after day after day. We act uh, according to these beliefs, you know, we uh, we may see something that may be good to invest in, but our beliefs around money, our disempowering belief around money may tell us, well, no, you know, people who invest in that or do that, they always fail. Or you may have the dis- disempowering belief that people like me can't do that. You know, whatever whatever your situation may, may be, you know, maybe you think, you know, because of your race, your color, your, your education level, or whatever, where you're from, or the accent you have, or whatever, you may think that because of your circumstance in life, there are certain things you just can't do. People like you can't do that, you know. So those are disempowering beliefs that many times we allow to stop us from making progress in life. We allow from, you know, we allow those beliefs to 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 hinder us and keep us in a state of of disempowerment of you know not making any progress is you know the the inertia of our life life long held beliefs stops us from being a better person and contributing into the world to to making things better sharing our own unique gifts sharing the things that we can do you know we we become afraid sometimes of expanding ourselves it's comfortable to stay where you're at. It's comfortable to just keep doing what you're doing, that same routine. You know, you may not be failing, but you're not making any real progress. And, you know, for me, I don't know about you, but for me, that becomes draining. That becomes draining over time, the energy of just the same old routine over and over and over again and not expanding into something new, something different, something that may scare you a little bit that drains me, you know? So I'm hoping that you all take a look at your beliefs, even go so far as to write some of them down, write down some of the beliefs that you have around money, around, you know, uh, uh, trying new things, investing things, um, just, just doing things that may make you uncomfortable, but that can help you grow write down your beliefs and and just take a look at what you believe even talk it over with someone that you trust someone that is is a person that you can bounce ideas off of someone that you know gives you uh uh empowerment talk this over with them don't talk it over with people who you know they they just want to do the same old thing and they don't want to grow because they're going to tell you the same crap you've been hearing all your life anyway you know if you if you go to the people that you've always going around who, you know, if those particular people, if they're stuck in that same rut, if they're doing the same thing, don't, don't talk to them because they're, they're not going to give you the advice, the, 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 the inspiration that you need. Find someone that you can talk to who can inspire you, who can give you some insight, some better insight into your life. You know, that person may even be a stranger. You know, sometimes it may be easier for you to talk to a stranger about certain things than people that are close to you. Whatever you have to do, write it down, whatever, you know, even if you have to, uh, you know, look in the mirror and just ask yourself about what you believe, how you're feeling. Do whatever you need to do to take yourself to another level and break through those barriers, those limiting beliefs that you may have that are stopping you, that are disempowering you from making more progress. Everybody wants to do something 
that is going to take them to another level. But many times we're afraid to do that because of the beliefs that we hold and the beliefs of the immediate uh, family, friends, and society around us tends to hold those same or similar beliefs. What are you going to do to break out of that? What are you going to do to, to take yourself to another level to be better, to do things that you, you know that you can do things that more than what you're doing now. You know that. But a lot of times we allow our immediate circle to stop us. We're in that comfort zone. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're in that, that state of purgatory where, you know, nothing, nothing really bad is happening, but there's no real progress being made and it's real comfortable and you get into that rut. That's, that's not living. That's existing to me, you know? So you got to scare yourself a little bit every once in a while, write down some things that you really, really want to do in life, but that you've been scared to do that. You just, you know, it scares you even think about it and write down those things that you want to do and write down the beliefs that you have around them right now, beliefs that you have as to why you haven't been doing them. You know, you could say, you know, you, probably going to come up with, oh, I don't have the money, enough time, or I don't know this or know that. Fine. If you really want to do this thing, find ways to get around those disempowered disempowered beliefs. Find ways where you can get the money, you can get the knowledge, you can, you can, you know, uh, 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 find the people that can help you. There's always a way if you really want to do it. And so I'm just here to encourage you to look at your belief, look at whether or not you're sabotaging yourself with the beliefs that you have. Many times we are, and I just want you guys to break past that, break through that, break through those barriers and see that you have what it takes to to break through those barriers, that you can get to the next level and start to do the things you really want to do in life. Like Les Brown says, none of us are getting out of this alive. So you might as well do the things you really want to do. Take those chances and go for it. This is Sid Owsley. Have a great day. Check out my website, SidOwsley.com, where I have a free gift on there for you about your goals and your values. And I want you to take a look at that because it's a it's a piece of it's a document that can help you, you know, look at what you're what you believe in, what you're doing and how you can apply that to your goals. So check out sitowsley.com. Also, you can check out my my podcast, The Three D's to Success. Determination determines destination. On that podcast, I share stories of people who Use what I call the three D's of success, determination, determines destination to overcome obstacles and challenges in the life. You can check out the YouTube channel, Sid Owsley, three D's of success, as well as the podcast, which is on Spotify and Apple and, and the other podcast directories, three D's of success. This is Sid Owsley. I'm out. I want you guys to have a great day. Feel empowered and be determined to determine your own destination in life. I'm out.